Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, we are gonna talk about do's, don'ts, and specifically a distance killer. One of the things, if you're looking, this video is about how do we train half turns, and some people I know, I know some coaches that don't like them, and I know coaches that coach Olympic athletes that use them, so it's one of those things that we look at on how do you train that half turn, or we call them wheels, 180s, half turn, how do we train that properly to carry and have the most carry over to your throw? And what would be a distance killer? This goes back to that main point that one of the big problems when we're looking at a half turn is the upper body opening. So the way the athlete sets up, they actually move the upper body, the knee pushes forward, and then what they do is they try to kind of close back up, but by then they're shifting forward, the upper body's too ahead, and what's gonna happen are all sorts of compensatory or you're going to compensate for the fact that your legs aren't ahead. So most throwers, a lot of them are gonna have very similar responses to that and some are gonna have very different responses. And here's the thing, they're all bad. A lot of times when athletes open, they'll try to like close the arm like you would in the shot put. In the shot put, you're gonna wrap the arm. But in both events, whether it's the discus or the rotational shot, you're going to have to push off the lower body and hold. In the shot, you kind of hold the arm. We called it hold and fold. In the shot put, we call it holding the arm and folding at the shoulder. And in the discus, we want to hold the chest and fold at the elbow. So we're going to be bringing the body this way in the discus. And in the shot, we're going to be bringing the body into the arm, holding the arm, and then opening back up. In the discus, we just kind of maintain that T. We get a little open, and then we pull down and block. Now. If the upper body is ahead, you're in big time trouble. You're gonna constantly be practicing the wrong thing, and that's why we call it a distance killer, because you're gonna actually develop a really horrible habit of opening the upper body first, having the lower body follow. Once you've set that chain reaction in place, you're toast, you're not gonna fix it, because physics says, you're not gonna fix it. So you may disagree with me, but you can't disagree with physics. Okay guys, so that's your simple tip for today. Remember when you're going out, really focus on the lower body moving the upper body. Try to hold the body in position and allow the lower body to create the movement, not the upper body initiating the throw, which is gonna train you to just have terrible habits and reduce your potential. Okay guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. Remember, if you like videos like this, the only way we keep this channel bringing you free content is for you to hit that like button, subscribe. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and do me a favor, throw a comment below. Tell us what you like, tell us what you'd like to see, and I'll see you on the next video.